Hi, I'm Ben Solomon, Chairman and Founder of the Exodus One Foundation and Propulsion Physics Inc. The Exodus One Foundation is an IRS recognized 501c3 nonprofit whose objective is to raise funds from the public and disperse these funds as grants to researchers in multi-million dollar labs. Propulsion Physics Inc. is a for-profit company that was set up to complete the engineering research into gravity modification and build prototype and commercial gravity modification engine. I'm also the author of two books, the first being an introduction to gravity modification. On the cover you see the formula for gravitational acceleration that I discovered in 2007 that does not have the mass of the planet or the star in it and therefore the new equation for propulsion. The second book I published is titled Reengineering Strategies and Tactics. It's based on my 20 years working for management consulting firms like Coopers and Libran and uh, manufacturing companies like Texas Instruments and, and consulting for Unilever, having a look at Colgate Palmolive and Scott Paper. Well, you might ask the question, why fund these organizations? In the case of propulsion physics, it will revolutionize terrestrial and interplanetary travel by replacing rocket engines, jet engines, and internal combustion engines with solid state electromagnetic field effect circuits, electrical circuits. In the case of the Exodus One Foundation, we have specific experiments that we need serious researchers to conduct to eventually discover the physics of interstellar propulsion. We do not believe it will be related to wormholes or warping space-time. It will be related to photon probabilities. So that technology that we foresee will be related to how do we localize at a nearest star or a planet or a galaxy. This means we need new physics and it exists. Over the last 15 years, I conducted a 12-year study on gravity modification that I've published as this book, An Introduction to Gravity Modification. And I've published eight peer-reviewed papers. The last one was published in the Journal of Modern Physics in August 2013. This paper titled, New Evidence, Conditions, Instruments, and Experiments for Gravitational Theories explains why modern contemporary theories, I call them risk theories, relativity, string, and quantum theories, RSQ, explains why these theories are unable to discover new equations in physics like g is equal to tau c squared. Furthermore, astrophysicist Robert Nemirov at Michigan Technological University published in his paper, Bounds on spectral dispersion from Fermi detected gamma ray bursts in physical review letters 2012, explaining that quantum foam cannot exist and therefore resulting in the possibility that a minimum of 50% and up to 70% of quantum theory may not be correct, to put it diplomatically. Additionally, the famous string theorist Michio Kaku in his April 2008 interview on the Space Show said that string theories will take about several hundred years to solve the gravity modification problem. That means if we want to do gravity modification today or in the next five years, we have to do it with new physics. The new physics such as G is equal to tau c squared has been discovered and has been published for everybody to review and check. What are the benefits? Firstly, new launch technologies that could substantially reduce the cost of getting into space. For, for example, there's a technology that I have termed as gravitational column launch. Using Potlinov type superconducting ceramic disk, one could shield the gravitational field and reverse it and thereby impel the rocket that is sitting on top of such a gravity shielding mechanism so that it 
floats up into space. You can see from this example that the cost and the mechanics of launch vehicles has been substantially altered because you do not need to carry the mass of the fuel to lift the rocket out of the gravitational well into orbit. And that is a mighty fine savings because not only do you eliminate 90% of the fuel you have to carry, but you also eliminate 90% of the rocket body to carry that fuel. And therefore, we can spark many industries, space tourism, space mining, space colonization, because we have eliminated 90% of the mass of the rocket body and the rocket fuel to launch people into space. The second set of benefits is to replace internal combustion engines and jet engines with solid state circuits that have no moving parts. Imagine the cost reduction of ownership. You have almost trivialized the cost of maintenance and therefore substantially reducing the cost of commerce on this planet. I hope you are excited and eager to fund these ventures. Thank you.